explore behind the scenes, see the players' change rooms and tour the media center where all the action is reported. Tours operate from game two, Monday to Friday, 11 a.m., 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. This stop is Etihad Stadium. Melbourne Aquarium, the 
Recreation Museum and South Bank Promenade at the River Precinct, offering entertainment and river cruises. Further along, travel to the Royal Botanic Gardens and the Shrine of Remembrance. William Street is the home of Melbourne's historic and imposing law courts, comprising a large complex of buildings dating from the 1870s. Melbourne has the third largest Greek population outside Athens and Thessaloniki, which has significantly shaped the culture of the city. Melbourne's Greek precinct is located around Lonsdale Street, with restaurants, cafes and cake shops. Step off here for the Hellenic Museum to explore the rich cultural traditions of ancient and contemporary Greece. The museum is located in what was originally the Royal Mint, which began casting gold coins in 1872 in response to the gold rush. The museum is open Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This stop is William Street. Thank you. 
maps, manuscripts, and a number of galleries. You can take a tour, watch films, and listen to music, play game consoles, and access free Wi-Fi. Open Monday to Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Friday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. From the next stop, take a tram along Swanson Street to the Ian Potter Museum of Art at the University of Melbourne. Admission is free. The museum is open Tuesday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 12 to 5 p.m., and closed on Mondays. Take a tram along Swanson Street to visit Melbourne's Royal Botanic Gardens. Join the Aboriginal Heritage Walk at the Royal Botanic Gardens and enjoy the history and thriving culture of the Indigenous Kulin Nation every Tuesday, Thursday, and the first Sunday of the month, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Trams from here also travel to Government House, the Shrine of Remembrance, and the stylish and popular Chapel Street shopping precinct in South Yarra. This stop is Swanson Street. Tail possums. 
Within the gardens, you will find the Melbourne Museum. Engage all your senses, exploring life in Victoria from the natural environment to social history and culture. Visit Bundjalaka, the Aboriginal Cultural Centre. Listen to stories, share experiences, and learn about the rich culture of Koori art, medicine, and technology. Hear tales of the characters and the icons that made Melbourne at the Melbourne Story Exhibition. See Farmer, Australia's most famous racehorse. Walk through a real rainforest, see skeletons of dinosaurs and megafauna, and journey into the interior of the mind and the world of dreams at the Mind Exhibition. Open daily, 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. This stop is Spring Street. The next stop is Nicholson Street. Step off here for St. Vincent's Hospital and to connect with trams on routes 86 and 96. For shopping in the bohemian and vibrant precincts of Collingwood and Fitzroy, take trams 86 or 96 from the next stop. Fossick and second-hand bazaars and art galleries and enjoy the many funky cafes and restaurants. For great bars, live music and DJs, take a tram on Route 86 from the next stop and head to Smith Street, Collingwood or Gertrude Street, Brunswick. For independent designers, don't miss the Rose Street Artist Market every Saturday. Or take Route 96 trams to visit Melbourne's best collection of Spanish restaurants located along Johnston Street. Step off here for the historic Victorian Fire Services Museum located in the Melbourne Fire Brigade's original headquarters. This heritage-listed building houses a unique collection of vintage vehicles and over 4,000 fire-related items. Open Thursdays and Fridays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Sundays, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. This stop is Nicholson Street.
next stop is Bourke Street. A short walk from the next stop is Collins Street. To connect with trams on Route 109 to Port Melbourne, 112 to Brunswick Street, and 48 to Bridge Road. The stunning gilded building on the right is the famous Princess Theatre. The theatre has staged some of the world's most popular productions. Legend has it that the friendly ghost of Federici, an opera singer who performed there in the 1880s, occasionally appears as an omen for a show's success. On the left, Parliament House, a grand building overlooking one of Melbourne's busiest streets, Burke Street. Wedding parties can often be seen on the wide sweeping steps, having their photos taken. Free tours of the building are available when Parliament is not sitting. The next stop is Flinders Street. Step off here for Route 75 trams. To the left is the magnificent Old Treasury Building, built in the 1860s. 